What's good everybody and welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons. So this video is going to be a little bit different because today we are going to be paper crafting. So what I have here is a swatch chart. It's just a swatch chart that I keep on me in case I tend to use markers inside of my sketchbook. That way I have an idea of what color it lays down. So I want to put it in my sketchbook. Like see this blank page in my sketchbook, I don't usually draw anything here. I usually just leave it blank and just keep it moving. But then I figure why not make a sleeve out of some paper that I can put here and then I can just slide this swatch chart into. Because if you're on the go and you're always in a rush or whatever, you may have the temptation to throw this in your sketchbook, close it up and then go. But I don't want to risk that because sometimes it ends up falling out or getting wrinkled on the corners. Like, it just doesn't look good to me. So I thought of a way to create an envelope that you can put somewhere on this first page of your sketchbook and then just keep any notes or swatch charts like this handy in case you ever need it. So I'm going to set my sketchbook aside for now. And what I'm going to be using is some cardstock. This is 8.5 by 11 cardstock. Obviously my sheet of paper because we will need to measure something. Um, I got double sided tape and some scissors and a pencil. So that's what you're going to need for this video. Um, obviously the cardstock paper doesn't have to be green. It just has to be 8.5 by 11 or A4. So let's get to it. So I'm going to set the scissors aside for now. So I'm going to take this end of the swatch chart and I'm going to align it with the edge of the cardstock. Then I'm going to draw a line on the two sides, like so. Okay, so we got two lines. I just drew that there just to draw it. So when I make this sleeve, I want to make it a little bit wider so that way it's easy for me to take this in and out. Because if I have it the exact length of the paper, it's going to be hard to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my 12 inch ruler and align it with one of these lines. So when I use my ruler, you probably can't see it. Hold on, let me zoom in. So here's the line that I drew and I'm going to align it with the lines on the ruler that show the 16th. Okay, so I'm going to draw another line like so, so that way it's a little bit wider. And now I'm going to turn it to the other side and do the same thing. Just align it with the 16th lines and draw a line. Okay, so now I'm going to erase these lines that we drew at first so we won't get confused later. Okay, so now this line and this line are the lines that we're going to fold this paper on. So I'm going to do just that actually. I'm going to fold it. And I'm just going to go in with a nail that I barely have. I'm going to make it super sharp. Make sure I press down on it and slide back and forth. So that way there's no bulge at the fold area. And then the same on the other side. Okay. So now we got two flaps on both sides of the cardstock. So now I'm going to fold the paper in half this way. I think it's referred to as hot dog style because it looks like a hot dog. Doing my best to make sure it looks good. And then go in with the nail that I don't have again. create some sort of an envelope we're, we're getting closer but we're not done yet okay so now we're gonna take our scissors and cut the tabs like so all 
All right, now we can determine which way is the back. So I'm gonna make this way the back, even though this pencil line is there. So I'm gonna write back. Okay, and then this will be the front. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the bottom two flaps, which are these two, I'm gonna fold them out. That way this one can come in. So the front flaps will be like that. But I'm gonna undo it real quick, so that way we can tape it all down. Okay, so these two flaps that are folded inwards, we're gonna apply tape to them. I'm gonna apply it close to the corner. Okay. So now we're gonna fold that in, now that we applied the tape. Okay, so now we got the inside. Now we gotta tape these two flaps down. So that's where the double-sided tape. So I'm gonna fold the flaps down and I'm gonna tape that down too. And then I'm gonna tape each corner. I'm gonna apply a lot of tape so that way I don't have to worry about it coming apart or anything. And then, of course, the top. Okay, so now we got tape. You can probably barely see it, but I got ring lights over there that can probably shine light on them so you can see them. But yeah, every corner over here and then on each edge that has tape. And then this is the front. Of course, you can chop this off. Okay, so there is our envelope. So let me grab my sketchbook again. I'm gonna open up to the front page. And then I'm just gonna tape it to the corner. So tape it down, press on it so the tape solidifies in a way. So that it sticks and sticks and stays there. Okay. And now it looks like we did just that. So let me see if my swatch chart fits. Of course you could have done this earlier when we were measuring the flaps. But let's just do the final test here. Okay. See? Slides in and out perfectly. And you can also do this with index cards. All you got to do is follow the same steps. The only difference is the size of index cards. Because index cards, I believe, would be like a third, maybe, of the size of this paper. Or even, I use sticky notes a lot, so you can definitely do with sticky notes too. But me personally, I just like to have a swatch chart handy so I can just like slide in and out and whatnot. And then, if you also fold the sketchbook like this, if you have a wire bound one, it's a lot easier to slip out and in. Perfect. And I also have one in the back of my sketchbook. You know, in case I have like notes that I want to put back here, or maybe this can be a sleeve for uh, maybe notes about planning for YouTube videos, and then this one can be like for swatches, you know, however you're gonna do it. But I have two, so I can make do with them. But anyway, but anyway, that's how you make a sleeve with paper. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.